Um, this is related back to the, uh, again, the Baltimore incident. Um, they've been making adjustments as needed to deal with the fact that they don't have a bridge to access the port. It's been causing all types of issues. It says that members of the TCA have adjusted, that's the Trucker Carriers Association, they've adjusted smoothly enough to the disruptions at the Port of Baltimore that a conference call amongst its members scheduled for Thursday, the latest in the series, was canceled because a great deal of initial concern among the TCA members has disappeared. In other words, we're on to the next crisis. We're on to the next day. People are starting to not care about it anymore, which is awful. Um, they said it was a lot of shock we had. Oh, so a lot of the shock we had was in the first two calls. They said, and they said, we want to keep those lines of communication open and we'll continue to forward information to our membership as we go along. But it says, but for now, the uh, FMCSA said they are hearing what the TCA members have to say about adjusting the port closures, basically trying to extend the hours as needed in a crisis like state like they've done in other states during the uh pandemic era where our service were extended or weighed altogether to compensate for the fact that there was a need for moving up supplies and goods uh, what, what, why <sighs> really how much does this does this crash really slow down what's well, going on because to give you a, he took the wrong direction correct the boat Yes. No, the boat was going in the correct direction. What happened is they lost power and had no longer had control of it. And that's why it crashed into the bridge. It was going through under it like it's supposed to. It just didn't go the right direction. And it hit the stanchion instead of going under the bridge. That's right. Basically, the center part of that bridge when it was standing is high enough clearance for boats to go under because that's how all the boats get it out of the port. But because this one lost power, it drifted off and smacked into the side of of the pilot. Holy shit. So... And since this happened, they have to construct the bridge. Nothing's getting into the port at all. No, there is an alternative route, but instead of it being a direct 30 to 45 minute drive, it's now three hours. All right. On top of the fact that the other freight that's coming out of there now has to go to other ports to be shipped. That's what I was just about to ask you. So did they just route all the other boats to the nearest port? Yes, which is north of there going into Philadelphia. Yeah, Philly, Jersey, all those ports. Well, Philadelphia is jumping right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The whole Upper East and Lower East, because they if they're not sending them up there, they're sending them south to like the Carolinas, Virginia, Georgia. That's a big port, you know. Oh, yeah, Norfolk Port is huge. Yeah. Wow. So basically they're starving out the Baltimore drivers. Right. And the fact is, too, that a lot of those drivers, you know, they're nothing wrong with it because they were doing right. It's not the driver's fault, but their business is set up to run short distance. Like a lot of these drivers have day cabs. They have smaller fuel tanks. Like they're not at capacity, especially for, you know, I'm assuming what the rates would be. They're not at the capacity to go longer distances, especially when more times than not, the brokers aren't going to pay them extra just for, because they have to redirect it. Some of them may, but you know, that's a whole other conversation. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. I actually don't know if I've been, I've been messing up. So, uh, SoCal says boats or ships. I guess he's trying to be funny because we're not calling them. Ships. Well, yes, they are. They are ships. They yeah. carry they hundreds ship. of cargo uh, containers. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. SoCal. Ha ha. Uh, no, I mean, that's just an unfortunate situation together. Uh, have they found the bodies? Um, The there last I heard that they that were lost. Have they found they haven't. I haven't found all of them. The last I heard, they found two of the, I believe, six that were missing. Jeez. And the other four are already presumed to be dead. I mean, I'm sure they're looking as they're cleaning up the bridge pieces, but I think the focus has shif- shifted to just getting the debris out the way so they can start reconstruction. Jeez. I mean, how is it? I mean, is it a current thing? Did the current for- take the bodies? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's an active port. I mean, it's a canal into the ocean. So more than likely, if, you know, wildlife didn't get to them, then, yeah, the current probably would have swept them out at some point. My God, it's that that incident is or they're, you know, pinned under the debris and that, you know, that'd be the other unfortunate outcome. This opens a greater conversation of and they probably touched on this already maintenance on the ship. Yeah. Did maintenance make this failure happen? Uh, They're still investigating from what I've read, but more than likely it was a maintenance issue because of the fact that the ship was having problems before it even left. 
But again, we're dealing with a ship that's not from America. This is, I believe, it's a Singapore owned ship. Like it was from a foreign country. So as far as their oh. maintenance standards and things like that, there's no speculation to say. Oh. In fact, the only reason that the Mayday situation happened was the fact that they did follow protocol as far as uh, having somebody from the port drive the boat out, essentially. Can truckers that are not in Baltimore are not doing international freight, can they see a bump? in freight because they have to use other means to get it to where it needs to go. Not likely. I mean, maybe in years past, but because of just overall the structure of the market, they may see some type of compensation, but it's not going to be a significant enough to keep basically for it to make sense as an individual business or even as a small, smaller type of fleet situation. They're not going to see the extra difference of, of having to take the freight farther in their pockets. No. Hmm. So it's just not a win for nobody. It's just all bad. Yeah, it's it's a very difficult situation. And like I said, too, for some drivers, because of the extra distance, it doesn't make sense for their business situation. So they're just like one gentleman said, he finished the week out and he just parked his truck because the extra cost and the time because you're not able to produce at the same rate as far as moving freight. You know, like I said, you go from, you know, being able to turn a load in say three to four hours and it being now six to eight hours for a turnaround. If not longer because of the the port lines, because now all the extra port traffic coming from what would otherwise be in Baltimore. Yeah, some of these port some of these uh some of these port guys definitely use um day cabs too. Everybody don't have no sleeper over there. One other big factor too, which I don't know if you've ever had to deal with it with uh working in the ports, but when it comes to transportation companies working at a specific port, their equipment and their drivers have to be registered to that port. Oh, yeah. So There's a whole pile of paperwork process they have to go to to even be able to go to another port in the first place. I mean, there are some situations like with other outside carriers that will come in, but that's totally different from somebody who is actually a portage driver. No, I have my uh, Norfolk port uh, card. That's where yeah. I first got my twit and I had to get a Norfolk port card. Right. So I know it. it, it is, um, you know, that stuff is issue for those people. Clerk said LA Port makes seventy dollars an hour. Uh their wow. comp uh their compensation is an extra two hours of driving added to their eleven. Thanks, FMCSA. Laugh out loud. That comes from New Age Transportation. He's yeah, not that, wrong. <laughs> we, we will we will definitely check on that uh at a later time, but as of now, it's just all bad. There's no good news coming out of there yet. Yeah. So. Well, let's go to the, let's go to the next one, man. Let's get down to business. 